hey guys hope you're all well hope this video finds you well this video is gonna be about saying no basically it's about having the confidence confidence seems like a word that I'm using a lot lately but it's all about confidence it's all about learning different ways how to say no um, some people even me sometimes I feel that I find it difficult to say no to people it's always like I feel like I'm obligated to say yes to everything because I'm thinking if I say no then they'll think I'm not being a nice person they'll think I'm not helpful that kind of thing I feel like you know I need to say no and I'm just literally learning nowadays how to say no and just say no and that's it so I'm gonna give you a few pointers um how to say no um so I've got my little book as always my little notes which I'll be looking over because I don't wanna leave anything or forget anything so the first one is keep it short and sweet someone says to you do you want to cover my shift my work shift you say no thank you I've got you know that's it you don't have you don't have to explain to people why you said no and that's something that I tend to do I say no and then I say no because I have you literally do not have to explain yourself to anyone you can just say no thank you and that's it you're not obligated to explain to them at the end of the day it's your time it's you who they're asking so you say no thank you is enough do not explain to people because you're just giving too much literally. you don't owe them an explanation you literally can just say no thank you and that's it if they keep pushing say no thank you they'll get it sooner or later literally they'll get it you do not have to explain to them Anything. thing most people as I said they think saying if I say no people will think I'm not nice or I'm not helpful or people will hold it against me if someone holds you saying no to them holds it against you those people are not your friends they're not legit friends they're not they don't care about you at the end of the day you can't say yes to every single thing you cannot like the same things as they do you know so you saying no should be like okay they don't want to go or they don't want to do this okay cool fine some people find that when you say no they think oh she's not nice or whatever those people you should not even be friends with because they, 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 they're the type of people who make you do things that you don't want to do because you want to please them you know what i mean so for you who say no you are you it does not mean you're a bad person it literally does not mean you're a bad person you're just putting your needs first and you're just thinking if I do this, you kind of think in like long term. And so someone says, oh, let's go clubbing and you have work the next day. You say no. You have to think about you have work the next day. You know, you have to get up early. So saying no is the logistic thing. Unless you want to rest before you can get up early and, you know, be looking fresh and something cool. But if you really don't want to go, you don't want to go. And it does not make you selfish. It does not make you bad. You're just thinking about you and you should always think about you first before somebody else's needs okay um another kids yeah so another way to do it in um in a way which gives you a bit more time kind of thing to like give you a leeway kind of put the power in your hands is to say no thank you but i would let you know if i can do it so if someone again if someone asks you to do this shift you say no sorry i can't do it but i'll let you know if i can that way you're you've told them no so you, you know you've already told them you can't do it but at the same time if you can you have you know the time to think about it and decide if you can go so it's a good answer really that i think that's one of the best answers you can say no and just say uh, but i'll let you know if you know something changes so i think that's i think that's a good way to actually say it that's one of the best ways to say no is you know say no thank you but if anything changes i'll let you know the balls in your court to decide if you want to do it or not but you've already told them your main answer is no but if you feel that you want to do it later on you let them know so they don't have to keep chasing you around and bombarding you with messages oh have you decided have you thought about it have you did you've already told them they know if they want to do you know if if you decide otherwise you let them know so yeah and the other one of the other thing the last point 
and you need to be selfish some people make some people see the word selfish as it's a bad thing but selfish means you're looking out for you it means you're taking care of you it means you're your number one priority and that's what the word selfish means to me it does not mean you're a bad person yes we use it in a way that is bad like oh you're selfish you think like in a bad way when you actually if you're angry or whatever and you're saying to someone oh you're selfish it sounds bad but when you really think about it you're thinking about yourself which you know it can be bad it can be good depending on what situation but in a situation of saying no it ain't bad because you're thinking about you and you're prioritizing yourself if it's something to do with i don't know something you can't do something you don't want to do yes you're thinking about yourself so you are being selfish but not in a bad way in a way that um in a way that you're trying to prioritize your needs instead of the other person's needs because if you're not selfish if you're not thinking about yourself that's how you end up doing things that you don't want to do it's like someone says oh let's go here you say okay let's go there okay let's go there but you know by the time you finish it's like you're doing all these things for them and you're not thinking about yourself it, doing things just for somebody else is just not right you should not be doing things just to please the other person you have to think about yourself as well it's like if you have something planned if you have like you made plans way in advance and you've um you got to do something like in a month advance you've got you've planned oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then somebody comes at the last minute and says oh let's do this and then you say okay like really you just go okay and you do it you know i mean if you really don't care about the plans you made then fine but if you really care about the plans you made you should not just say okay to the other person because they're your sister or because they're your best friend if you've planned something stick to it if you want to do what you planned stick to it don't just say yes to the other person because you know you're thinking oh they'll think i'm sad or yeah, i mean not sad they'll think that i'm selfish or i'm into myself yes you're into yourself and you're selfish yes because you are your number one priority okay make yourself a priority stop making other people a priority okay those people do not pay your bills those people do not feed you those people are not the ones who are going to be there to pay your bills when you get sucked from a job because you ain't clubbing and you go drunk and you can't be at work they are not gonna do it they'll just say oh sorry sorry that is it sorry doesn't pay your bills sorry doesn't do jack so think about yourself think about what you want to do think about the long-term repercussions for doing such a thing think about it don't just think about pleasing the other person and making them happy but last but not least be firm guys be firm that's the main thing stick your ground St stick your ground stand your ground okay stand your ground and stick to your nose and the yeses if you say yes stick to the yes don't disappoint someone when you've told them a month ahead that you're gonna do something don't disappoint them obviously unless it's you know like a legit excuse then you know you can't do nothing but if you said yes do what you said stick with your stuff i mean what am i saying stick to your word and if you said no stick to your nose unless something changes at the last minute and you decide to go go but always stay firm guys stay firm don't think about all the things i'm not nice if they're your real friends they will understand if they're not your real friends those are the ones who will be saying oh they're selfish or this you know those ones you need to kind of <laughs> say bye bye to say bye 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 okay and just be your selfish self as long as you're happy with your answer you're good but anyway this is a little short video i just thought i would you know let you get you but anyway yeah so those are all my pointers hope they are helpful hope uh they helped you kind of find different ways of saying no i hope they help you out um if you have um pointers or, or ways that you can say no let leave them in the comment section below because even me i still need some pointers about how to say no i need some ideas sometimes you know sometimes you run out of ideas or sometimes you've got ideas and you're thinking oh it sounds wrong or it sounds this 
let me know if you have any ideas how to say no and um if you're new welcome to our family if you're old gang 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 welcome back and uh hope you enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and we shall see you later bye